Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day or great evening no matter where you are in the world. Before we get started with today's video, I want to thank everybody. We're over 19,000 subscribers now. We're at 19.1, almost at 19.2. We're closing in on 20,000 and that would not be possible without you. Without you coming here and watching the videos and loving the content. Thank you so much. I also want to remind everybody that you can become a member to the channel. eBuzz Central members only 99 cents a month. Starting January 1st, 2023, the MVP, VIP, and Pro versions will all disappear, and those perks will drop down to the eBuzz Central member. And we're going to have a lot of great things I'm going to announce in January uh, for viewers, uh, contests, and stuff like that. It's just going to be so great. So thank you guys so much. Now, having said that, I want to send a shout out to my newest members, Baradus, Captain Squarepants, and Tom Bombadil. Thank you guys so much for believing in my content enough that you want to support the channel. You'll never know what that means to me. And thank you to all my other members. This community is growing and I am really excited about the things that are going to happen over the next 12 to 13 months. 2023 is going to be really great for not only the channel but for the community that is involved with it. And if you haven't had a chance to see my previous videos, the last four were pretty good videos. Uh, best GNOME Linux distros of 2022. I give you my opinion on who utilized the GNOME desktop best. Linux, hard to use my butt. Stop the BS, it's 2022. That's a good video. Only Office. This is an intro to a 10 video series I'm going to be doing on the Only Office application. And it is a great way to do Office work on Linux, especially if you have to be compatible with other people that are using Microsoft products. And then, of course, the top three must use Linux distros, in my opinion, that will basically stop all your distro hopping. Now, I've covered a lot of GNOME here lately. I got on a KDE kick there for a while and I just really try to cover everything out there that the Linux user or the person new to Linux might like. Today I'm going to be revisiting a distribution, well a spin, it's a arch spin, that I haven't laid eyes on in probably over six months and that is Zero Linux. Now this is a great arch distribution. He calls it a hobbyist distribution but it's built using in-house scripts created by your friendly human and a proud contributor to the project, Kaya Desa, that is meant to provide you with a stable base, making it simple to install. It has the Calamari's installer, and it's well-optimized and customized KDE Plasma desktops. It's one of the ones out there that if Garuda's a little too much for you, this is probably your best bet. Now, you can download it right here. It is made in Lebanon. And you can scroll down and it says what to expect from Zero Linux. There's another YouTuber doing a video on it. And then, of course, your features. Improved, stunning, powerful, customization, rice and themes. You can download Dunes, Layin, Nord, Suite, specific themes for the Zero Linux spin. And then, of course, your frequently asked questions down here. You've got home features, customization. You've got a podcast, frequently asked questions, notes, forum. And then if you go to download, you've got some different options now. And before we get to those options, it does have an end user agreement. Basically what this states is the ultimate goal of Zero Linux is to offer you an easy way to install Arch Linux. We try to take the Hicks Law approach when it comes to choices. Less is more. With it being based on Arch, basic Linux knowledge is highly recommended. There's no need to jump directly into deeper waters without learning how to swim. Take it slow, test it in a VM. Jump in only when you feel confident enough. This is not what you really expect out of an end user agreement. This is just, hey, this is Arch Linux. Something might break. Be careful. But with my experience of using it about six months ago, it's pretty bulletproof. As long as you don't go all willy-nilly and doing crazy stuff. I do like the fact that they got a little winter snow falling on the website. That looks really good. So let's click on I agree and then you can pick a source used to be you can only get it from SourceForge. Now you can get it from SourceForge, Acum.se, which is based out of Sweden, and then of course Foss Torrents. If you've got a torrent client, that's probably what I would recommend because it will go a lot quicker. At least it does in my experience. So let's go ahead and close out of that, and we will close out of that. Now, without any further to do, I want to go ahead and just get on over to the Zero Linux desktop. And if you download Zero Linux, throw it on a USB or open it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. Very beautiful background. You get a Zero Linux Hello screen. I love these because especially if you're somebody new to a certain spin or distribution or you're just new to Linux in general, 
This right here kind of has you covered. On this one, you've got a VMware resolution fix. Oh, we do have updates. We're not going to do that. We're in a VM. Donate, a Kimu resolution fix. And then, of course, you can launch the installer. Now, this welcome screen is set to start every time you start your system. If you do install it or you install it on a VM and you don't want it to pop up every single time, you just come down here and click on that, launch it, start, uncheck it. It won't launch anymore unless you actually physically go find it. So we will go ahead and turn that back on. And I'm going to go ahead and launch the installer, give you a brief glimpse. Those of you who watch my channel are very familiar with the Calamari's installer. It's just got your welcome, location, keyboard, partitions, user, summary, install, finish. Right here, because I am in a virtual machine, it says there is not enough disk space free. And there are no partitions to install on. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. I just wanted to kind of give you the look. I love the theming that they're using here. If you're not a fan of Garuda, this is definitely something to take a look at. Especially if you want something that is different and looks really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of the Zero Linux Hello. Now, another thing I want to do, I want to zip over to settings real quick, and I want to go down to the About This System. And right here, it shows that we're using KDE Plasma 5.26.4, and then KDE Frameworks version 5.101.0, kernel version 6.0.12-arch1-1. That's why I call it an arch spin. This isn't a custom kernel. They haven't went in and changed anything to make their own kernel, so this is just a spin of arch. What you get with a spin of arch, I hear people ask me all the time, why go with a spin of arch as opposed to arch? Arch nowadays is generally easier to install, but there are people, especially if you're brand new to the community or brand new to Linux, that installing arch may seem a little overwhelming. Spins like Zero Linux and Garuda, let's say, make it easier for you to install arch and pretty much install other things that you're going to need running the operating system anyway, as opposed to just installing vanilla Arch and then adding everything that you need to it. So, just my personal opinion. If you disagree, let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'm going to go ahead and run up top here. There's so many different customizations you can do. You've got appearance. You can come over here. You can change it all up. Right now, it's on the LAN theme. And then you've got a lay in light, you've got breeze. And then of course, if you want to change those, you can come down there and change your global theme, application style, plasma style. I'm not going to go too in depth because really, if you're starting out, if you're wanting to try any KDE distribution or spin, throw it on a USB, go into these settings and kind of play around. That's the way you get used to it. Go in here and see exactly what everything does. So that way, when you do finally install it, when you go make those changes, you feel comfortable with making those changes. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. You've got a panel up top over here, and it's got a lot of transparency in it. I love the date and time right here. Uh, you've got a uh, drop-down terminal right here, sound, USB, internet, and then, of course, your hidden icons right here, which have notifications, clipboard, vaults, lock key status, power management. And then you have a dock down here that's got your Dolphin file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. And I love that theme. Look at that. I love that you get a little bit of transparency here with the blur behind it. But this is Dolphin. It's a feature-rich file manager that's going to make doing your job really nice. And you've got your usual suspects over here. you got your home folders right here. And I truly love this theme. They have knocked it out of the park on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and close. You've got Firefox. You've got meld let's go ahead and open up meld this right here is a good way to compare differences in files on linux you can use it you can compare blank comparison you can compare files folders version control this is a handy tool and i suggest that if you do give zero linux a shot check out meld it's a very powerful tool let's go ahead and open up the terminal let's go ahead and make it full screen so you can see it and let's run a htop real quick and right now we're using about a gig of memory of the eight gigs that I have issued to the system. I've only got four cores issued to it, but really with the eye candy that you're getting and we're running in a virtual machine, one gig ain't bad at all. Once you install it, you're gonna probably hover somewhere between 650 and 850, just depending on what you have coming on at startup. So, you know, that's not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and close that. Yep, let's close it. Then you've got settings we already looked at, G-parted, flat seal go ahead and open that up now what this does 
Flat Seal is, it can be installed on most every Linux distribution that you can use flat packs on. And what it does is it manages your flat pack apps app permissions. So if you're using flat packs, you can throw them on your system and then you can come over to Flat Seal, control the permissions that each one of those applications have. So it's a very powerful tool. Like I said, that's something else you need to take a look at. It's very, very interesting. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now, background. I want to see what kind of backgrounds we get out of the box. I know that's not a pressing matter for a lot of you out there, but I just want to try something different and see what it looks like. Let's try that and apply and click OK. Those are beautiful. Zero Linux always knocks it out of the park with the look of their operating system. Not only are you getting the most recent rolling release of Arch, you're getting beauty along with it. And I just love it. What they do with this operating system is beautiful. It's hands down probably one of the best looking out there today. Now, if you come up here and click on this, this is where all your apps are. That's your app menu. You've got development. You've got graphics, internet, lost and found, multimedia, office, settings, uh, system, utilities, help, power and session. And then, of course, the most important thing, add and remove software. So let's check this out. Now, if you do install this or you want to give it a shot, remember, the first thing you want to do is click on this right here. Go over to Preferences and go to Third Party. And there's AUR support. Let's go ahead and enable that. And if you do want to use flat packs, you can enable that right here. So that's available to you out of the box. Now, because they don't use their own custom kernel, they're using a pure Arch kernel. That means you're not going to have issues with the AUR. Now, you might run into a speed bump here or there, but you're not going to have trouble like you would say with a Manjaro, which is using a totally separate kernel holding packages back. When you get this, when you get Zero Linux, you're getting the most recent packages most recent kernel and nothing's being held back so the AUR should work flawlessly for you and then come over to general we can go ahead and close out of that and this is where you would get your software you'd go up here and type in something like let's look for GIMP let's go GIMP and of course it shows it in the AUR once you install it all of your software dependencies will will refresh and you'll have the most recent ones so right now I'm not showing you what's in this repositories because they haven't had a chance to refresh because we're in a virtual machine. But once those refresh, it would pop up and have GIMP in an official repository, and you could use it right there. That's how you would install your software. So it makes things pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And I think we've pretty much covered everything up here. I like to do things a little bit quicker on these now, because a lot of people say, you know, you don't cover the operating system itself enough. You're more concerned with the desktop environment. No, I think those go hand in hand. I'm telling you right now, this has got the most recent Arch kernel. It's going to be most recent up-to-date packages. So that means you're going to be able to use the AUR without any issues. You can install flat packs out of the box if you want to. You can control the flat back permissions with flat seal. So, I mean, guys, if you're looking for a great looking operating system and you're looking for Arch, Zero Linux is definitely one to take a look at. And it's definitely one to give a try. Let me know what you think. Is Zero Linux something you might download throw on a USB or put in a virtual machine to take for a test drive, let me know in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. The more likes I get keeps me in YouTube's algorithm, which means the information you just saw in this video, if it was helpful to you, it can be helpful to somebody else. And subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, we are on three separate platforms, YouTube, Utreon, and Odyssey. And you can become members on all three. On YouTube, it's only 99 cents. On Utreon, it's $2.99. And on Odyssey, it's $4. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe go over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. And I will see you in the next video.